Hi, I'm Allison, and this is Kicking Cancer to the Curb. This segment of the show is called the Wow Segment, Words of Wisdom, which I want to share with you from my experience in hopes that it will make your experience a little bit easier. I'd like to talk to you about my first um, radiation treatment. You, I, I went into, I was working with Cedar sinai metal group group, so I went into uh, the Samuel Ocean Center, which is directly across from Jerry's Deli um, on Beverly Drive, in, or Beverly Boulevard in Los Angeles. It was very strange for me to be going to get a radiation treatment because I used to go to eat after party, partying at Jerry's Deli, so it was, it was, it was kind of weird to think of myself having so much fun and going out after, you know, clubbing or whatever, wherever I was, and then going to Jerry's Deli to have some more fun, and now I'm going directly across the street to get a radi radiation treatment for my cancer. So that was kind of strange for me. Um, I thought it was um, an, inter an interesting... Uh, I don't know. I just thought it was so so opposite. It, it was like strange that this is like that was that part of my life, and now this is happening to my life. So, anyways, I go in and you meet you meet with your doctor, and he um, talks to you about what's going to happen, and they measure you, and they find the exact spot where they need the um, radiation to hit. There, there. It's like exact right on. So this is really, really, really important. Every time you go in, you lay in the exact same spot and everything is measured out perfectly so that they can, you know, they can get it. Uh, after you get measured, you leave and then you come back for your first treatment and at least for me, I went for six weeks every single day except weekends because my doctor said that cancer doesn't work on weekends. That was kind of funny. He was funny. <laughs> so uh, that's Dr. Mahadi of uh, Cedar Sinai's Cedar Sinai. So uh, you go in, and the first time I went, I changed into my gown, and then I saw a lot of people just wearing their clothes. So from that time on, after my first uh, treatment, I just would keep my clothes on, and then you take off your shoes or your boots or whatever, and you take off your belt and any, any jewelry, and then you can just. You, you can just do your radiation treatment like that wherever it is. You just have to take your clothes down. Um, so you lay you lay on the bed, which is basically hard, like steel, like aluminum. I don't know what it was, but it was hard and it was cold. And you lay there, and they set you up, and they make sure it's perfect. And it's really quick. I mean, you're in and out of there in 15 minutes. Once once you've got it down, you just go in. They zap it. It's like a laser, and it's a big machine over you, almost like a. Uh, it feels like a, you know, a spaceship. It's really huge. The radiation machine is like like this, and then it comes down, and then they tell you that you can't, you know, don't breathe for that second when they, when they whatever shoot the radiation stuff in, and so um, it's fairly quick. I love my technicians, especially Sinead. She make made it fun for me. Well, as fun as it can be. And um, then you you do that for six weeks, and then you get a break, or at least in my case, I got a break before my surgery about uh, one month. When I was doing the radiation, for the first week, I kept saying to the technicians, I don't feel anything, I don't feel anything. And they would say, well, it, it accumulates. So the second week would come along and I'm like, I don't feel anything. It's not affecting me. So in my mind, I thought, oh, this is no problem. I've got this beat. I'm just going to skate through this. Third week came and I was like, hmm, it's starting to feel a little bit tender down there. And by the fourth week, it was getting worse. Fifth and sixth week, it was like so bad. And I literally, the skin had, had burnt off that area of my body. So it was completely raw. So going to the bathroom was extremely painful, extremely. And um, I would shake 
from the pain and um you know by by the end of it i i was sitting on the bed and i was crying and, and the nurse is like you're crying and i'm like <clears throat> i'm in so much pain so what they did was they gave me these mesh cloths and on the cloth she would put like a and d they also they give you all of this it's like a really thick vaseline and you put that on the cloth and then you put on numbing cream on top of that so you kind of have like this really thick pad of first the cloth and then the a and d and then the numbing cream and you just literally put that on and you wear that and it, it helps a lot the other thing that really helps a lot is uh, taking baths baths for me were i had to have baths all the like i probably had a bath every day maybe twice a day during that time because it would it would soothe and would heal that area of the body and um it was just that was my go my to go place when i was in a lot of pain and you can take tylenol or i don't know about advil but for sure tylenol and if the pain is really bad you can talk to your doctor about a painkiller so by the time i was finished on my with my 6 week of radiation i was pretty beat up and it was it was very painful in that lower area and um it took about oh, geez at least three weeks to heal so it wasn't over yet so like 10 weeks um till i started feeling normal again and your diet is completely altered by that time you you just you do not you do, you eat very um very, you, you go by the guidelines and they give you all of those guidelines of what foods that you can eat. And sometimes you'll start to feel a metallic taste. I think almost everybody feels a metallic taste. There are also things that you can take for that. I didn't take anything for that because mine wasn't that bad. But I know for some people there are some homeopathic things. And you can just look that up on the internet. Metallic taste from radiation. So the radiation part was was half okay and half not okay. <laughs> in the beginning, it was going smoothly, but in the end, it was very painful. Now, that was just my experience. That does not mean it's going to be yours. Yours might be much easier. So I don't want to scare you. I just want to share with you what I went through. Yours, maybe you won't have any of those symptoms. Maybe you won't feel anything, and I hope that you don't. But if you do, just know that it's normal. I will see you on my Facebook page, Kicking Cancer to the Curb community, and um, you can go there. You can send me any questions that you have. Um, even if you just want to talk, I'm here for you, and um, I will answer any questions about radiation or anything that you have about cancer. I'm an open book, and I'm here for you to read. So thank you, and um, best of luck.